What's up YouTube? Today we got another project for the Camaro. I'm really excited to do this one. We're gonna be painting the engine cover. Um, so I got the base coat from automotivetouchup.com. Pretty cheap. And you can get the adhesion promoter and the clear coat uh, gloss for it as well from there. And I bought a black gloss um, paint that bonds to plastic from just Walmart. And I bought some painter's tape, the kind that you peel back and it doesn't leave any residue to tape off the areas I'm not currently painting. So let's look at this engine cover and uh, get started. So here's our engine cover. Um, so to get this off, you gotta take your oil cap off. There's a Torx bit right here. I mean, a Torx screw, I've already taken it out. It's size T27 and there's a bolt back here. Once those are off, you can take this off. Um, so I'm planning on doing the outside, the gloss black, and this wing looking part, the base coat color orange. Um, also, you know, once this is off, I'd like to see if I can customize this. I'd really like to get this bow tie here to match the bow tie here. Um, so once you get this off, you're gonna wanna clean it with some soap and water, scruff it up a little bit, and then clean it again with soap and water. And then it'll be ready for the adhesion promoter and the following steps after that. So let me go ahead and finish getting this off and then we'll get started cleaning. So we got lucky. Actually, you don't have to take the bolt off on the back. I've seen videos where you do for some reason, but um, well, in case you ever want to take that bolt out for some reason, it is a size 14. Um, so yeah, I got it off and uh, we'll start cleaning. All right, we're outside, we got it off. So just got water hose and some Dawn soap and some paper towels and a rag, so let's Start cleaning this thing off and I'll come back afterwards. All right, I have it cleaned up and I scuffed it up some with some sandpaper. I'm just letting this fan sit here and dry the rest of it off. Um, about to get ready, start to take this off. Um, so I am, I think I am going to do this. I'm going to take this and do this orange and have this bow tie black. Um, I hit this with the sandpaper and it left a mark, but I guess it won't matter once it's painted. Yeah, so I didn't sand any more of this. Um, so let this finish drying and then we'll just start taping it up and then uh, start painting. All right, finally got it all taped up. Um, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. I wouldn't recommend doing this without an X-Acto knife because like doing this emblem here and around these edges, it's a pain in the ass to get right along. Does see some of this is still off, but right along them creases. See, I did that pretty good. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully I can cut this and leave the chrome covered and then paint that black when uh, I do the black. But this here is gonna be orange. So let's go ahead and spray the promoter and uh, get this color started. So both layers of adhesion promoter are applied. Now I gotta wait 15 minutes for it to dry and then we can start applying the color and um, go from there. All right, here's an updated, this is the third coat. Looking pretty good. I'm probably going to put one or two more coats on it. So, and I must say, this stuff actually smells like bananas. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it's looking good so far. Alright, I just applied the last coat. So I did six coats, and it looks badass. That color is matched perfectly with my car. Alright, so I took all the paint off, 
I got two coats of clear coat on here. Um, you see some parts kind of oversprayed, but this is going to be painted black, so that won't be able to be seen anymore. And um, I just need to cut this out to get the black on there. So I think it looks good. Like I said, some of these spots will be black, so that won't be able to be seen anymore. And uh, I can touch up some of the spots that need touch up as far as the orange goes. Like uh, right here, and right there. So let's get started on the black. Alright, got it taped up now for the black. Um, taping the orange up is a lot easier than doing the black. So, I'm getting ready to do the adhesion promoter now. Alright, I'm going to Alright, I just applied three coats of black. And I'm going to say this black looks awesome. Get the black bow tie there. Hopefully some of that paint kind of dries up. Looks like there's more in the middle there. Can't wait to see what this looks like. When I pull the tape off. And there is the finished result. People, that looks amazing. I have a spot right here. It was a bear that actually landed on it, so I had to go back. I might have to redo that spot. But, uh, got the black with the silver. It looks awesome. I gotta put one more clear coat on it and let it sit overnight and put it on the collar before I leave for work in the morning. That looks awesome. Alright, we have it installed and it looks great. There's a few spots I can touch up. Um, I got a touch up pin go through here and touch this up spots like that but overall bow tie looks great color looks great and uh looks great i'm gonna try to go in and paint some of these other pieces as well but um so i'm gonna have a video up later and um so yeah thanks for watching you too